This is the X-Ray Shoe Fitter, and it is exactly what it sounds like. This machine would scan the bones of your feet to make sure that your shoes fit properly. Uh, these things were in shoe stores all across North America. This is the, uh, the device, the little door here, which I think serves no purpose, right? Because you just pop this thing down and got the on off switch, which is nice. It's a line switch. I don't know what that means, but I've turned it on and I can already feel some tingling. So this was not disarmed. It probably has some enriched plutonium or something. These things were hugely popular between the 1930s and 50s, and then eventually they were given the boot. <laughs> see what we did there? The boot. It's a pun because it's shoes. Yeah, well, I'd like to see you do better. This is my favorite part. So you had men for men's feet. So this was extra radiation, I guess, and then women. But the children, oh, that button's jammed because there was an incident. There was probably some sort of child foot. Why would the button be jammed? Oh yeah, because this thing is like a thousand years old. Conspiracy averted, guys. I wonder why it was discontinued though. Maybe, just maybe, I'm just speculating. Maybe some genius came along and realized that you could see how shoes fit by trying them on. <laughs> I mean, seriously, come on, guys. One thing this machine really does, though, is underscore how important footwear was back in the day, right? Because you've heard the stories from your dad or your granddad about how you had to walk to school uphill both ways during a snowstorm, right? Which really, you would need proper shoes for that. I mean, sometimes you even had to do it barefoot. Wait, well then, you wouldn't have proper shoes. You wouldn't have one of these to give you proper shoes. That whole story's moot now. What I'm saying is your grandfather's a liar. There's a little dial here that says operating range and then reserved range. I don't know why that dial is there. Because if you've got the little flick going, oh, I'm in the reserved range, I might be okay. And then, oh, no, wait, I'm in the other range, my gums are bleeding. Right? And that doesn't help you at all. None of this helps you, except for the off. That helps you. See, now I feel better. A little. This arm no longer works, but that, might be this, it might be, what I'm saying is call my lawyer, because this is just gonna be a thing. I will need this tape after though. Do not delete this. All right, well I'd wave goodbye, but again, not working. Take care, a little foot wave. I'm Nasegay for Hilarious Histories.